Thank you. So once the surgery center calls us and lets us know that you are out of surgery, for your safety, we allow one hour minimum for you to recover. Then we will come and pick you up in our bodied mobile, like this bougie babe. Yes, that thing is banging. Yes. This is actually a Dr. Cannon doll. So a lot of times we like to give our clients crackers on the drive home just so that they can kind of coat their stomach a little bit so that when they do get home and they get their pain medication, their stomach is pretty coated. Um, you haven't had anything to eat since midnight or sometimes even earlier depending on when your surgery was so if you take medication on an empty stomach it will cause you to vomit so it's really important that our girls put something in their stomach even if they don't really have the appetite just so that they don't run the risk of getting nauseous and vomiting up their pain pill It's very common that after our body babes get in bed that they feel nauseous. So we use our peppermint essential oil, which really helps with the nausea. Then we check their vital signs to make sure everything is stable prior to starting their post-op drip. So one thing that sets apart the care that we give at Drip Embodied is every package comes with a post-op drip. We find it very important to rehydrate our clients after surgery as your incisions are open and you're leaking, your blood pressure is low after anesthesia. It's just a great way to boost you up. Also, we have the option to give you IV Zofran. Um, this also helps to combat nausea, which a lot of girls have after surgery. Does it feel like it's over your vagina? Hold on, don't forget. So it's very common halfway through the drip to need a pee. So a tip that we like to use is putting toilet tissue in the toilet prior to peeing so it doesn't splash on us. Um, we might have just met this body babe, but we are getting very close and personal. So, um, I said to him, I said, that's fine, as long as you make my back rolls go ahead. And this is what we like to call the drip effect. As you guys can see, she's had her post-op drip and she's ambulating, 
barely with standby assistance. She's feeling strong. She's not dizzy. She doesn't feel like she wants to faint all because of the post-op drip. And at this mark, it's about maybe two and a half to three hours post-op. Look at her go. At 7 p.m., our CPR certified CNAs arrive for their shifts. And if our care overlaps, we are able to get a handoff report as far to as them. Pain medicine, the last time she took it was at 3.45. Okay. She has Percocet, she can take every four hours. So okay. the next one is due at 7.45 and she feels like she needs it. And then, you know, if not, she wants to alternate between the Percocet and the Tylenol. Um, and then we're gonna start her antibiotic tomorrow. tomorrow. I love she's the Yeah, she's, she's been, been working on that. I think she has that one, that one bottle she's yeah. been working on okay. all day. She did drink some okay. coconut water, but I told her she needs to drink water water. water. Okay. She feels good, so she can keep them again. But you know, as far as like drainage, she hasn't been like ridiculously oh, yeah. draining. Just okay. like a good moderate amount. So okay. it hasn't been bad. We are packing up the van to head home. Um, our bougie babe is in great care with our CNA, Miss T. And as you can see right here, we're about to meet someone who is interested in our services, which always warms our heart. And this is the end of the day. I say bye to my sister friend. I love you, sister friend. I love you too, sister friend. Yay. I'm gonna vomit. I can't deal with this today. Please. Ashley said, when she see the pink people, 